months ago. Um, and I wanted to share an update with y'all on my current diagnosis. Um, so three weeks ago, today I think, um, I was diagnosed with CCCA and that is a form of alopecia. Um, so it's a hair condition. Um, I've been diagnosed with this and it has been mentally and physically exhausting. Um, if you know, you probably don't know, but I've always struggled with hair loss and itchiness. Like if you know me, I'm always patting my hair. I'm always, um, I'm always in pain with anything and I'm going to show you guys how my scalp looks and this has started ever since I was maybe a junior in high school so I've always knew something was deeper that was going on but I didn't know to this extent so the form of alopecia that I have it is scarring of my scalp which meaning that there's tension anytime it gets pulled and braids sew-ins braid downs ponytails any type of heat i have red bumps that starts in the center so the first word of the acronym is central virgural virgural um so it starts in the center in the crown of your head so if it goes untreated it will travel up to the front and you will start to lose hair loss in one particular spot of your head um and your hair follicles are dying or already dead like mine is halfway dead so my hair will never grow um and if i have tension on my hair i will have a i will have a flare so that's the first part so yeah so bear with me y'all this is a challenging topic to talk about but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. All right. So part two. Um, so like I was saying, it starts in the center of your hair and your scalp and it can eventually move up. Um, so of course everybody thinks alopecia is just hair loss. However, there are six forms of alopecia and unfortunately I have one of the worst forms because it has the scarring where it will feels like pins and needles like stabbing my scalp and so when i had those sensations i used to just pat the fuck out of my hair <laughs> like ew, like it really hurts it, it really itches um so i would have bumps around my hairline um bumps around my uh behind my ears so i've been going through it for years and i never knew why um and the scalp is crazy extreme sensitive so any type of hair dryer anything i can't use anymore i can't wear sew-ins i can't wear ponytails um some people who kind of like girl yes you can hey girl no i can't <laughs> because with ccca anything that is pulling or tugging your hair any harsh chemicals anything tightness synthetic blends, human hair blends, anything that will harm your hair. Right now, I have on a glueless wig, so I'm able to take this bitch off <laughs> and put it back on. Um, I was prescribed um, two shampoos. I tried them for the first time yesterday, and it was actually great. Um, and I did go to a dermatologist, so I did not diagnose myself for the girlies that likes to at they little one too um and i do have a scalp biopsy schedule scheduled for this friday when they have to literally take a piece of my scalp to test it to make sure the follicles in my scalp aren't already dead and gone um they did recommend me cut my hair even lower than what it is and i did that um so Hair has always been an insecurity for me, and now having this disorder, it's hard, y'all. Like, it's super hard. 
Um, so yeah, like my hair would never grow potentially and that's the downfall of the disease. And well not disease, I wanna label it as, as a disease. I wanna label it as a condition. So biopsy is scheduled for this Friday. Uh, we will see the results within a week. Um, and I think those are like the main things. So I have to wash my hair every week with those medicated, specific medicated shampoos. I cannot use any other shampoo, any other conditioner, leave-in. I can't use it. If it's not, my doctor um, allowed me to use organic co coconut oil. So I've been using my hair with that, but I have to wash my hair every week and my hair has to be breathable. So if I'm getting knotless braids, my hair will never breathe. And I've always noticed that no matter who did my hair, whoever did my hair, my scalp would be super duper red. And y'all, FYI, that is not normal. That is not normal. And also, Another FYI, I had an allergy test done back in, I want to say, back in May. And nothing about any type of hair products is that I'm allergic to. So I was like, so this is weird. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, so I'm not allergic to any products, but my fucking scalp is red as fuck every time I get my hair done. So I always knew for years that it was something totally di like deeper and different. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know what I'm going through and I want to let y'all know to be gentle to people, be gentle to the people that you see that's wearing wig wigs, especially for me. Like I haven't been a wig girly in a very long time, so I can't use glue either. I even tried to use the got to be, and that's me being intentional and in understanding my body and my skin and my scalp. I used a little bit of got to be yesterday and my hair was my scalp was tingling and the and the bump started to form so I can't use it and I want y'all to hold off on sending me shit I'm not in a space to take that in because I saw my dermatologist and they already told me what is recommended to make my hair healthy and yes so with peace and love keep it to yourself and just be nice to everybody today and understand if you're a black girl that it is okay and this form of alopecia is genetic so hereditary um not sure where i get it i got it from but my mom or my dad's side of the family but be gentle with yourselves and know that you're beautiful um i've struggled like who y'all I struggled with feeling like beautiful because you know my generation like the millennials if your hair is not to your shoulders mid back you're bald head so tough crowd <laughs> um my hair has always struggled and i'm on this new journey and i am trusting god that he will bring me through this and i'm not just saying it i've been very into myself i haven't even shared with like all of my friends yet um because it's fucking hard and everybody's like what's going on what's wrong like i don't want to talk about it like it's hard and i'm finally able to and i'm so proud of myself but in this journey i am going to embrace me as a black girl so i just wanted to share that with y'all to give more insight and more knowledge because if you got signs and i'm gonna drop these pictures if you got signs of any of these that i've mentioned you might want to go to a dermatologist just to get a scalp analysis and to figure out what's happening. So, I thank y'all so much for watching and just be gentle and be nice. Because if you see my lace lifting up, boo, I can't help it. It's barely hair under here. <laughs> no shade. But yeah, y'all life be tough but i know god gonna you know help me through this and it's gonna be okay and i really believe that and yeah i love y'all especially if you listening to this video because this is a long little segment but
Bye. <laughs>